Welcome to our Christmas story. We retell it every year. How God came from heaven to glory, come, came to make his home right here. Jesus lying in the manger, born in all of our mess and fuss, made us friends who once were strangers, son of God who lives with us. Soon we'll meet the shepherds, wise men, and all the usual characters. And perhaps another story, one that's now involving you. In a world of joy and darkness, in our laughter, pain and care, Jesus came so that we knew God is with us everywhere. So our story starts, as always, with an angel, Gabriel, visiting the home of Mary. Was she busy? Who can tell? All today I'm cooking sweeping, feeding the chickens need the dough. Honestly, it's never ending. Time to sit down for a meal. But as soon as Mary rested, there was a knock upon her door. Grumpily, she went to answer, not expecting what she saw. Right, go. Greetings, Mary, highly favoured. I have come to you from God with a message straight from heaven. Oh, you look a, you look a little odd. Yes, I realise that you're frightened. It seems to happen quite a lot. People see the winds and hail. Gives them all a nasty shock. Would you like a glass of water? Do sit down, dear. There's a love. That's much better. Here's the message I have brought from God above. <laughs> Gabriel explained to Mary, God had chosen her to be mother of a special baby, God's gift for humanity. Um, don't want to say I'm grateful, but there's just one tiny thing. I should mention, just passing, see my hand, no wedding ring. Mary, don't get all Beyonce. It's okay, the child will not be the son of your fiancé, but of God, the one in three. Father God will send his spirit and become the Holy Son. So the child you'll bear will be the son of God, the three in one. Wow, that's quite a thing you're asking. God himself will come to stay. But I am the Lord God's servant. Let it happen as you say. The angel bowed and left her. Mary sat and drank some tea. Called up her fiancé Joseph. What would his reaction be? Right across the town from Mary, Joseph had a wood workshop. He was busy making benches when a phone call made him stop. Joseph here, all tables bended, doors and windows, fences too, carpeted to all of Nazareth. Who's there? Mary? Oh, it's you. Joseph, dear, I've news to tell you. You're going to have a child, God's own son, an angel told me. Now, please, Joseph, don't get riled. Mary, this is disappointing. Not that I am mad at all, but I must do what is righteous. Sorry, but the wedding's all. Took Joseph planned to do this quietly, caring still for Mary's plight. Gabriel had news for Joseph in a dream that very night. Right. Joseph, son of David, listen. You are frightened. That's okay. It's all right to marry Mary. You'll still have your wedding day. Mary said the babe she's bearing is from God. And that is right. Call him Jesus, which means saviour. He will be the dark world's light. Joseph made up with Mary and they set a wedding day. But before they picked the bride mates, something happened. Eh, hey, oh ye, oh ye, is a Jewish phrase for, oh no. Mary, I discovered that her. Not good news, because it's from them. You know, Romans. About their taxes. Time to pay in Bethlehem. What? You mean we've got to travel while I'm pregnant? That's too hard. Can't we just pay by direct to debit, Visa, or MasterCard? Visa! Sorry, sweetie. Not invented. It is Bethlehem or bust. I'll start packing. Put your feet up. Comfy footwear. That's a must. 
So to Bethlehem they travelled, because of Joseph's family tree, walked for days and days to get there. They were tired. Yes, we'll see. Yay, there now, Mary darling. Won't be long till supper time. We can stay with Bob, my uncle, in his guest room. You'll be fine. Really hope so, Joseph, dearest. Baby's nearly on his way. When we get there, call the midwife. Thank you, me and Dad, today. Uncle Bob had made it lovely, but the room was very small. Mary much preferred it down the stairs, just just beside the donkey's stall. So that night, as stars were twinkling, Mary's tiny baby was born. Joseph filled the donkeys through the through with hay and blankets, soft and warm. Can I hold him? Will he like me? Do you think he'll call me dad? Here, God's own son just wet his nappy. Mary dear, you're looking sad. I was thinking, will he be a carpenter that's her like you? You reckon? Making chairs and tables or does something very different, reckon? Will he grow to be like you or will he take his father's job? Nestling in your arms I see the face of human soul of God. As they gazed in awe and wonder at their baby, sleeping sound, silently beyond their vision, all of heaven gathered around. God no longer just in glory, but right here where humans dwell. God made flesh to be God with us, Jesus, our Emmanuel. Meanwhile, on a distant hillside, shepherds sat there, tending sheep. Amos, Seth, apprentice Colin, round the campfire, Half asleep. All at once they heard some singing, saw a bright shining light. Gabriel arrived in glory. What a terrifying sight! What is looking like happening? Seth, Colin, waking up. There must be aliens or Martians. Go look at them. Scarper! Right. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. It's a halo, I suppose. But I have some information. Excuse me while I strike pose. Do not fear, I bring glad tidings. News of joy for all the earth. News about a special baby. News about a new king's birth. Just help off the ground there, Amos. There's need, no need to hide your face. Martian is a blooming angel. Not some dude from outer space. Look, there's loads now singing glory, glory be to God on high. Peace on earth to everybody, angels filling all of the sky. Hurry now to David City, Bethlehem you will see. Wrapped in cloth and in a manger, Lord of all eternity. Get a move on then, don't just stand there gawping. So the shepherd left the hillside and just off the city square found a found the house with Mary, Joseph and their baby lying there. Oh, lovely. Who just thought it? Me all day my standing here. Oh, like the little Lord of Glory. Makes me knees come all over queer. I feel I should have brought a present, could not think of what to bring. What could shepherds give a baby, lord of lords and king of kings? I brought wool for him to sleep on, comfier than straw and hay. Smells of sheep I know, but this is from the heart. Is that okay? So the shepherds knelt and worshipped. Feet on earth and eyes on heaven. Jesus slept and snuggled softly on the wheel they had given. Sure, it had no fancy wrapping, ribbons, none, nor sparkly bow, but the gift they had gave to Jesus came with love instead of show. So as Colin, Seth and Amos went back to do their dozing sheep, 
Jesus somehow went there with them, giving them presents they could keep. Later on, a group of wise men travelled in from, from lands afar, scientists we'd call them these days, following a bright new star. <sighs> Are we nearly there yet, Gasper? We've been travelling for weeks. Can you just remind me why we've come and what it is we seek? Melchior, have you forgotten? Honestly, you noodle brain. We bring gifts to greet and welcome. Celebrate a new king's reign. books and all our wisdom told us that this star so bright means that King and God and Saviour will be born this very night. When the wise men stopped their journey, what they found was quite a shock. Mary, Joseph, Babe in the manger, shepherds outside with their flock. Can I just check? that this is the right place. I brought gold to crown a king. Look. But I wonder, where's the palace? Is this manger quite the thing? I brought incense, pure and holy, made to worship God on high. Is the baby weak and helpless? Mighty God with human cry? I brought man which symbolises one who dies to save us all. Seems a strange gift for a baby. Job too big for one so small. So the wise men gave their presents, though they did not understand how the child who lay before them would one day give this command. Follow me, he called to many, preach good news and all he said. Heal the sick and free the captives, they would follow where he led. Give his life to pay our ransom, bought us all costly price. Right, righteous king and god and saviour perfect lamb a sacrifice raised to life to raise with with him victor christ and living lord all this lay before the baby sleeping soundly undisturbed so the wise men knelt around him gave him the costly presents then suddenly they knew what they'd be taking treasure home with them richer than the purest incense, costlier than gold armour. Wise men took home truest wisdom, prince of peace and comforter. Our story's almost ended. Everyone has met him here. Will you take the Christmas baby home with you throughout the year? Let us hear from all the people who have met with God today how how will this affect their stories? Will this change them? Who can say? Strangest night, but stranger morning. Joy and sadness like a sword. When I kiss my baby's forehead, I believe I kiss my Lord. Though I'm his adopted father, I will raise him as my son. Teach him all I know and love him. Serve my king till kingdom come. I really don't understand it, all that stuff the angel said. But I do know I knelt and worshipped by the Lord Almighty's bed. Why would God come down to the shepherds, poorest folk of all the poor? Live with us and make us worship. I don't know, but I adore.
What have I to give to Jesus? Nothing, yet everything, all my heart and soul and worship for the baby, God and King. Gold I brought, expecting royals, majesty I found instead. Higher king than all kings ever, lying in a manger bed. I brought incense made for worship, rising as a prayer to heaven. Prayers now answered by the baby. God's own gift to me is given. Man, I brought, not understanding how this babe would die and live bringing life in all its fullness, gifts that only he could give. Oh. So God's plan before creation, earth in heaven and heaven on earth, came in form of gentle baby, mighty God and human birth. Is that it? Yeah. Now Emmanuel is with us, Christmas is true forever. In your home, if you will invite him, God with you and on you and you. God on earth and God in heaven, God with every human heart, greatest gift that was ever given. We, we and God no more apart. Shout with us, Christmas story, let all heaven and earth declare. Jesus came to earth from glory, God was with us everywhere. <laughs> 